Manifest on Purpose. My name is Kimberly Williams. I am a mindset consultant specializing in manifestation. I help you align your mindset with the things that you desire in your life to help you manifest in your life. So what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Let's manifest on purpose. Hello, 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 and happy Thursday. Welcome to the Manifest on Purpose Mindset Show, Full Moon and Aquarius Report and Meditation. I am your host, Kimberly. I am a mental alchemist, helping you align your mind with the things you really want in your life so that you can create the best life available to you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting your friends and family, and thank you for subscribing here and on the website at manifestonpurpose.net. The God in me loves the God in you. Today's full moon is the full moon in Aquarius, and this is going to be about reclaiming authority. The full moon starts on August the 11th at 10.36 p.m. Your opportunities are culmination of hopes, closure on long-held issues, and your challenges are coping patiently with urgency and sifting fact from fiction. Here's your report. The full moon in Aquarius on August the 11th is the very last of a series of supermoons, a cycle which began in May 2022. Although this full moon is not as powerful as last month's supermoon, it still packs a powerful punch. Configured to both of Aquarius's ruling planets, Saturn and Uranus, in an astrological pattern known as a T-square, this lunation is bound to have some tension and challenge. T-squares indicate enormous potential Yet often there is a crisis that prefaces a large shift. We can think of this as a pressure cooker, ready to explode if we don't hold the tension firmly in hand and direct it in the most constructive way possible. There are also very contradictory energies at play. Seeing as Saturn is within three degrees of a conjunction to this full moon, an aspect speaking to prudent self-restraint and structure action. Yet Uranus is also an aspect via a tight square within one degree. Both planets will vie to influence this moon, urging us to break free of our bondages, yet also inviting us to be cautious and disciplined. So how do we hold this balance? How do we get to the other side free yet not having completely destroyed all of the careful structures we've built since the new moon in Aquarius in February of this year? Well, we put to work the principles of both innovation and tradition. We walk the tried and tested path, yet allow for progressiveness to infiltrate our carefully laid plans. Sure, there will be quite a few things we won't have planned for that are likely to happen. Perhaps the sudden shifting of our social circles, the realization of a goal, although perhaps not in the way we envisioned it, or the unloosening of the chains that have kept us suffocated. Not everybody will feel comfortable with the rapid and suddenly shifting energies. Some of us will cling to the status quo holding tightly onto how things used to be. But we do need to channel the forward-thinking quality of Aquarius and fully embrace the new, knowing that the old does not have to be lost in order for us to progress into a new paradigm. And perhaps that paradigm is just within our own little world. Perhaps it's starting right on our doorstep before spilling out into the collective. After all, isn't that how revolutions happen? Like a seed, they grow and become a fully-fledged plant. So, what has grown for you since February this year? How have your goals changed, your ideals, your beliefs? What knowledge have you gained? 
And what opinions do you have to let go of? Aquarius is often guilty of going into know-it-all mode. So how can you be more open-minded during this time? Important to note is the conjunction of the North Node to Uranus with Mars nearby. In terms of the collective, this indicates very sudden, startling, and enormous forward movement, sudden liberation, freedom, or even conflict. We do have to stay grounded, harnessing the energy of wise Saturn to accept responsibility, stand in our authority, and overcome any fear or insecurity that may rise during this time. That is your full moon in Aquarius report, courtesy of Astro Matrix. This is very interesting because on yesterday's conversation, I talked about letting go, and it sounds like this full moon, as with any other full moons, is really about letting go. So I want you to continue the release meditation that you had yesterday. Let's jump into the meditation. If you are driving, this is not the time to meditate. Please download this and save it for later. If you are not driving, please find your sacred space, the place that is comfortable for you, the one that is distraction-free, safe, the place where you can relax and focus on your breathing. In today's meditation, focus on release in this Aquarius full moon. Enjoy your meditation. <music> 